Hi there. Today we will be going over how to check for short circuits on both our general purpose coach shield cable and our level probes. The remote cable and probes we will be going over are specific to all of Drexelbrook's RF capacitance devices. The only tool you will need to do this check is a multimeter that is set to ohms. First, we're going to be check our cabling for shorts. When performing this test, you want to make sure that the cable is disconnected from both the electronics and the probe itself. In the field, the cabling will be inside of a housing. So when you disconnect them, you'll want to make sure that none of the spade connectors are touching the housing. Now all you're going to be doing is checking to see if there is resistance between any of these connections. The three connections are as follows. Red is your shield or coat shield. Blue is your probe or sometimes referred to as center wire and green is your ground. So the combinations you're going to be checking for are shield to probe, shield to ground, and ground to probe. All these readings should be open. If you find any resistance between the cable, it means you have a short circuit somewhere within the cable and it needs to be replaced. So what we're going to do is take our multimeter, we're going to set it to ohms, And we're going to take our leads and just perform the checks on those three connections. So we're going to do shield to ground. And that looks like it's open, so we're good there. We're going to do shield to probe. That's open, so we're good. And lastly, probe to ground. And it looks like all three of those connections are open or showing no resistance. This means that this particular cable has no short circuits and that is exactly what you're looking for. Now, once you've checked for any short, you also want to check your cable for a continuity. Now how we're going to do this is that we're going to take two of our connections on one end of the cable and short them out. The reason for this is when you have a long cable run of 25 feet, you may not be able to access both ends. So we're gonna short out two of the ends at a time and then check for continuity on the opposite end. So we still have our multimeter set to ohms and now we're going to place our leads on the two connections that I've just shorted. and we are getting a resistance reading. In this case, since we're checking for continuity, you want a resistance reading. That means that there is continuity between the connections. So that's good. Now we're going to do the other side. We're gonna remove our connector and short out the other two sets of cables and check again. And once again, we're getting a resistance reading. So this cable checks out and it's good to go. Now to check your probes. This is gonna be the same process. We're simply looking for short circuits between the various connections. We have two different types of probes, two terminal and three terminal. Two terminal probes only have two connections, your center wire and your ground, hence two terminal. Three terminal probes have three connections. Center wire, ground, and coat shield. Now, in the field, you'll find that the probes are inside of a housing like this. In this case, if you're, you're going to need to check the connection on the inside of the housing. To do that, when you're on the inside of the housing, the blue screw or the center metallic portion is going to be your center wire and ground can be your housing on two terminal probes. When doing a check on a three terminal probe, on when you're at the inside of the housing, the red screw or this tab right here is going to be your coat shield. The blue screw or the innermost metallic connection is going to be your center wire 
And this portion down here is your ground. But if you're inside of a housing, you can simply use the housing as your ground. Now I'm going to perform this check without using the housing. So this is actually very simple. Just like on our probe, or sorry, cabling, you're looking for any resistance between the various connections. If you find resistance, it means that there's a short circuit between the connections and that you have a bad probe and that it needs to be replaced. So once again, we get our multimeter. We're gonna set it to ohms. And simply just perform a resistance test. So we are going to go from center wire to coat shield and we are getting an open circuit that means that's fine next we're going to go from ground to coat shield we're getting an open circuit so that's that's good and lastly from ground to your center wire and that connection is good all right so this probe checks out and this is a three terminal probe now on a two terminal style probe this portion is completely insulated. The metal rod is actually on the inside, and this particular probe is completely insulated in Kynar. So on the outside of this probe, when you're doing your check from ground to center rod, there's no way to check the metallic portion. So this actually has to be done on the opposite end, where the metallic portion is uh, exposed. So we're gonna perform our check from ground to the center portion here. And we're getting an open circuit, so this probe is good. Again, if you find any short circuits between any of these connections on a probe, it means you have a bad probe and the probe needs to be replaced. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching.